basically drug testing is the technology of addiction medicine. Uh, and uh, it's still in its infancy in terms of application uh, in addiction medicine. And so what we've done is have a white paper to review uh, what the testing technology is, uh, what it does and doesn't do, and how to integrate it within medicine more generally. The white paper itself uh, will be on the uh, ASAM website uh, and be available to everybody. And I think that you can use it in all kinds of ways. Uh, think about w uh, applications, uh, look at complicated kinds of uh, situations that, that may come up. Uh, think about uh, using tests other than urine tests or in addition to urine tests uh, about it, for example. I think it really moves the level of uh, knowledge up quite a lot uh, in, in, that'll be very useful for ASAM members, but, but it's not just for ASAM members. It's not just for uh, uh, addiction medicine doctors. Really, the purpose of the white paper uh, is within medicine generally. We want all doctors to know, like every doctor takes blood pressure, every doctor checks for things like uh, blood sugar in their urine and things like that. It's a routine part of what you do in medicine. And we want that to be part of, of what happens with, with drug testing. So it just becomes routine. Now what does a doctor do when he gets a positive test for the drugs? Uh, he doesn't say, I want to get rid of you, you're a bad person, I won't talk to you anymore. You know, no, no, it's an opportunity to talk to the person, what's going on? Uh, what is that pattern? What's, what kind of consequences have there been? Uh, and oftentimes when you do have a problem with drugs or alcohol, it's not as if you're gonna intervene that moment and change the person's life course, but you've got an ongoing relationship with that person. What about this? Let's watch that over time, uh, give some advice uh, about it and support, and when it's needed, refer to treatment and beyond referring to treatment. When they come out of treatment, monitor them afterwards. Uh, th that's the kind of role for doctors generally, and we want that to become routine in medicine, not just in addiction medicine.